So Xiaomi devices are popular for a number of reasons. They are very affordably priced, especially for the hardware inside the phone and the build materials. Like you will get actual a metal phone at an affordable price when other companies will use plastic or other inferior pieces of hardware inside the phone. But then there are some people who do not like to use Xiaomi's MIUI software. It could take a while to get used to. I'm personally not a fan, so I like to flash a custom ROM to the device. The process of unlocking the bootloader of these Xiaomi devices has gone back and forth for a while. It originally required you to request access and you would get a response within three days if you were very active on their forum or you would get a response much later if you were new or not that active. Then there was a process that you didn't have to wait I had unlocked, after I unlocked that, unlocked that first one, I had unlocked two Xiaomi phones and didn't have to wait at all. Now, the latest Xiaomi operation is that you must wait 360 hours after initiating the process. And that's what today's video is going to be. It's going to be part one of how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Redmi 5 and the Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus because I have to wait 15 days for them to complete this and this is a very important video that everyone needs to know. Anyone that wants to do this will want to do part one of the video as quickly as possible so that at, when that 15 days comes up they can go and watch the part two video of that. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It really sucks that Xiaomi does that, but this is the process of how to begin the bootloader unlock process. If this is your first time unlocking a Xiaomi phone or tablet, you're going to need to go to Xiaomi's website and create a Mi account. That link will be included in the full tutorial on my website, which again is linked in the video description. You're going to need to create that account, and then you're going to need to confirm that account. Sometimes they do this via email, sometimes they do this via SMS approval. You're just going to have to wait to until Xiaomi goes through with the approval process. Once you have gained approval, then we, we have a active me account and we need to sign into that account on this device. Now once you have logged into your me account, you're going to see the sync option on and you're going to see the find device. You're going to need to find turn on the find device which requires you to enter your password just to make sure that you are the person who owns this device and that me account once you have done with this you can go back to the me unlock page and we're going to download the me unlock tool directly from Xiaomi and we can uh, extract that zip file anywhere on our computer and then we're going to double click on the me flash underscore unlock exe file to start the program I've logged into our me account we need to do a little bit more you need to make sure that we enable developer mode and we do that by going into settings going into my device. It's a little bit different for this uh, Xiaomi devices 
because we need to go and we need to tap on the MI UI version a whole bunch to become a developer. Now to get into the developer options menu, we need to scroll down and tap on additional settings. And there we see developer options. Now, we, again, we need to assign this account, our account, to this phone. So we can tap on the OEM and lock option. Tap on the Me Unlock Status option. And then it's going to tell us to add the account, our account, to the device. So you can see it is preparing and if everything's good it'll say added successfully we can do that again added successfully your account to this device once the account has been added to go back you normally always have to have OEM unlocking option on once you see that you're gonna see that warning down at the bottom so we're gonna tap on enable So now we can continue with the actual bootloader unlock process. Once we open up this Me Unlock application, it's going to give you some, some warning about what happens when you unlock your device, how that it can reduce the security of your phone. If you're wanting to unlock the bootloader to install something like Lineage OS, you know the risks that are involved. If not, just make, sh make sure that you know everything that's listed here. And we're going to click on Agree. And then once again, it's going to ask us to sign into our Me account. So just to give you a taste of what happens if you try to unlock the phone right now with Xiaomi's new restricted unlock implementation. And this is also what we are going to be going through in part two of the bootloader unlock process, which will be a lot shorter than this, is we're just going to boot the phone into fast boot mode connect it to the PC with a USB cable click on unlock it's going to give us this warning again just so that you know they are not responsible for any damages for an unlocked it's going to attempt to verify the device verify the device is checked then it's going to try to unlock it now, as you can see it cannot unlock we have to wait it's originally 360 after 360 hours trying to, to unlock the device so this is the point where we have to wait 15 days when this time runs out then we can unlock the device and that is part one of how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Redmi 5 and the Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus.